ever feel like you can't do anything after a rave, this is silently working against you. Let's talk about the secret force driving it all, your dopamine. Here is your dopamine baseline. The amount of dopamine that's circulating in your brain and body, which is responsible for your mood, motivation, and movement. When you experience something really desirable, your dopamine spikes. But how much? Chocolate? That's 1.5 times above baseline. Sex? That can double your baseline. Cocaine? That hits 2.5 times above baseline. But amphetamines? Increase a whopping 10 times above baseline. Sounds incredible, right? But after those big peaks, your dopamine actually drops, often below where you started. The higher the peak, the deeper the drop afterwards. Now for rave athletes, this is crucial. When you're dancing, connecting with others, and especially if you have any sort of substance use, you're layering in multiple forms of dopamine. For example, caffeine increases the sensitivity of your dopamine receptors. So if you take a substance like MDMA or cocaine or heroin that increases your dopamine by a lot, you might be causing some toxicity in the brain. So after the rave, you might find it harder to hit your goals or just feel motivated to do things. So I'm sure you're wondering, how the hell can I increase those highs without the crash? Well, there's actually a natural way that can increase your dopamine levels without the crash like cocaine. Follow for part three to learn the secret. Please use carefully though.